just flip the switch, open the valve, and you can see it sprays. Well, if you saw the video of the uh, water tank, we were going to just put it up into the back of the golf cart and take it down when we were done using it, but it became such a hassle like Sun here figured it would be. And um, anyway, so uh, we found that we couldn't, um, we were hauling stuff in there, so you know, you got to take it out, put whatever you're going to haul in, some dirt or firewood or whatever, then take all that out, put the water tank back in. It was just in kind of a mess, plus the battery and everything else around. So um, I guess this last week he's been working on, on this. And um, we had uh, picked up a lawnmower, an older lawnmower, and we really just wanted the motor. I think it was only 50 or 70 bucks or something. So we wanted the motor off of it, and then we just used the scraps and uh, the front axle and everything to make the wheels on this. So, And then he's going to tell you about everything he did. Go ahead there, Mr. Phil. Okay, so I actually have some video of me building the trailer, welding it up. But basically what we did is we took the front axle off that lawnmower and used the tires. And from there we built... Uh, trailer off of it and I just have a two inch coupler because it's better than those pin hitches that we have. It, the ball is better. Okay so uh, we got the two inch ball coupler welded on there because it's a lot better than the pin hitches and um, had this handle off of an old trailer so it makes it easier for lifting in and out and then um, we had the battery box already. Already had the pump from the last time we got it and uh, we had a battery in here already so I wired in the solar panel to keep the battery charged, and um, on this side when we come around and switch, I use this bulkhead fitting down here, and it's kind of specialized, so if it, at Home Depot they sell them though. It's called the bulkhead fitting and then a barb, a short piece of hose, and then I have my hose right here for spraying with, and uh, so that was easy, and then of course we have the battery inside. Okay, so then I wired in the switch here because it had alligator clamps and that was kind of finicky and plus with the box on here it would be hard and then I just have this short length of, of hose here and uh, I put a sh uh, shut off ball valve on here because it was siphoning out of the tank and then I just put that piece of PVC so you can slide it in and then uh, instead of buying new tires I just saw a video on YouTube of this guy he just drills four holes in the side of the tire shoots a bunch of spray foam in there and we let it dry for two days, and um, they're not exactly round or anything, but for for what this is, it beats you know paying a hundred bucks to get some new tires put on or whatever. And it's kind of messy and it looks bad, but oh well, the spray foam you know it'll fall off and wear off and whatever eventually, so they'll look fine. But all in all, it works good, and um, so now we'll go use it. Okay, so here's just a little video of it working. It's a 50 PSI pump, so it, it pumps good. So just flip the switch, open the valve, and you can see it sprays, I'd say 10 feet, 15 feet. So that's why we didn't need the, the very long hose on here because, um, you know, then I'd have to build a wrap or something. So I just can slide it in the PVC and then drive off to the next plant or whatever we need to do. So, um works great it was real cheap for us to build if you had to buy everything separately it'd be really expensive probably not worth it but you know just using what you have and you can come up with something like this it's real useful and turn out to be a good little project all right just fill her up and we'll go water some plants we actually don't need very much because we just got to put some in the bucket and water a little blackberries